Hello, Pierre. How are you? I'm feeling worried because there's a big test coming up in school next week. My aunt says that if I don't pass, I won't be able to play my favorite video game. And I have to play my video game. What do you think? By the way, I love your dancing. Hey, James. Trouble in school can be the worst. Let's check out Tango and see how he handled it. It's another long practice for the Woodland Warrior soccer team. Next week is the championship game, so today's practice is more important than most. Just as Tango steals the ball and begins to sprint downfield, a voice is heard over the intercom. Tango, please report to Principal Stern's office immediately. Principal Stern entered the office and got right to the point. I spoke to Mrs. Finkel and she informed me that you're failing her class. We've both decided that you will not be able to play in next week's soccer game if you do not pass her test on Friday. Oh no! cries Tango. I can't believe Principal Stern would do this to me, complains Tango. Look, instead of sitting here complaining, why don't you find yourself a tutor? When I needed help last year, I asked Jake, replies Frank. Hey Jake, can you be my tutor for this week's test? If I don't pass it, they won't let me play in the game next week, which of course means we'll lose. Hmm, I don't know, I'm pretty busy, retorts Jake. Look, if you help me, then I'll owe you one big favor that you can have anytime you need it, promises Tango. Tango and Jake spend the next three days studying day and night. Jake taught Tango as much as possible, but Tango was still very behind. Tango knew he had to work harder than ever before, and work hard he did. The day of the test finally arrived. Tango was nervous, but tried his absolute best. Tango patiently waited for Mrs. Finkel to finish grading his test just to find out that he, he passed. Tango immediately went to find Jake to tell him the good news. Thank you, thank you, exclaimed Tango. I'm glad you passed. Now about that favor you owe me. A group I'm in will be having a very special gathering at the park this weekend, but we're one person short. I need you to fill in. But, 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 cried Tango. No buts, you'll be there. And make sure you wear this, says Jake as he hands Tango an oddly shaped bag. The very next day, Tango was in his favorite place, the gym. Just as he takes a break, he receives a text message. Meet us at Rittendale Park in one hour. Don't forget to wear what's in the bag. It's a very exciting day at Rittendale Park. Music is playing, giraffes are gathering, and is that Tango hiding behind a tree? What could possibly be happening? It's a flash mob and Tango is in the middle. Look at him move. James, you need to study just like Tango in the story. And most importantly, try not to have the stress overwhelm you. If you relax and work hard, I'm sure you'll do fine. Let me know how it goes. And remember to be who you are, be who you want to be, and love the in-between. Hey, thanks for joining us on Pierre's Fables. If you'd like to contact Pierre for advice, a question, or just to say, hey, Pierre, you or a parent can email him at pierre at zootsies.com. And who knows, maybe your email will be featured on the next episode. See you next time, friend! <laughs>